Ah, greetings and welcome to uh, another in a continuing series of educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania. I'm Jim Ellermar, I'm a behavior health therapist, and today I'm joined by uh, one of my colleagues. On my right would be... I'm Brandon, I'm a physician assistant student from the University of Mount Union. And at Seclair, what we attempt to do is treat people, not treat diagnoses, and look at the whole picture of an individual holistic approach, mind, body, and spirit. And in that vein, every week what our attempt is to do, what our intent to do, is to give you something practical that you can use in every life day life situations. Things that we you can actually have some practical purpose in doing. We're not just telling you to make lemonade out of life's lemons or to do hula hoops because it's good for you. So I understand I was talking to you this morning and you were really sad. You were telling me how unlucky you yeah, I am. I mean, I slept through my alarm this morning. I got a speeding ticket on the way here. I spilled my coffee all over myself. So I'm just having the worst luck. I just don't have any luck. Mm. It's just awful. Mm. You have awful luck. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you complaining about some other people in your life that uh, you're kind of resentful that they seem to have good luck. Yeah, everyone else just seems everything goes their way. They don't really have to work for anything. And then here I am trying to work my hardest and just things just don't go the way I want them to. Wow. That comes, that's a sad way to live, isn't it? It is. Why? Would you like to have some luck? I would love to have some luck. You'd like to have some luck? I would love to meet a leprechaun and get some luck from that. You'd love to meet a leprechaun? I would. Oh, well, Brandon, I believe your luck's about to change. Hello there, young laddie. My name is Lucky the Leprechaun. How may I be of service to you today? I just have really bad luck. I wondered if you had some better luck for me I could have. Luck? You want me to give you luck? I do. Well, sir, luck is what happens when uh, preparation meets opportunity. So, sir, how do you think I got my lucky pot of gold? You're just lucky. You're a leprechaun. You, you have those things. Luck doesn't exist, young lad. Luck? Luck is a matter of perspective. Now tell me. Do you practice mindfulness? I, I mean, I try to, I think, but it just doesn't seem to work for me. Doesn't work for you. Jim, can you explain to us how mindfulness works? Sure. And as uh, for followers of this program might follow, is that mindfulness is nothing more than paying attention on purpose. It's participating in your life. It's being right here and being right now. Where else can you be but here? Nowhere. Could you be anywhere else? as no. we speak. Mm -mm. And if I asked you what time it was, Brandon, what would you say? It is right now. It is right now. And I'm going to ask you, could it be any other time? No. It can only be right here and it can only be right now. Right. So people with luck put things in perspective and they put themselves in opportunities. They make themselves, you have to go this over. People who have luck put themselves in a position to succeed. People with luck have a wide angle view of life. If I was walking into the forest and my intent was to look for birds, and I was looking for birds, and I didn't see any that day, would I be unlucky? Well, perhaps if I thought that way, if my focus was merely on birds, and perhaps I would miss all the beautiful woodland creatures out there. I would miss the burbling brook. I would miss the warm breeze. I would miss the chipmunks walking us. I would miss the deer at play. Perhaps I was with a partner. Perhaps I was with somebody I loved, and I was unable to appreciate that moment as I was so unlucky that I didn't see any birds. So we place ourselves into a position to succeed. We take a good look at our lives. We do self-evaluation. We study. We prepare. We, we put ourselves out there. If you're an extrovert, you have a more of a chance to meet opportunity, meet people. The more opportunities that you grasp in your life, the more opportunities that you put yourself into, the more opportunity that you'll have to find luck. There is no luck. I'm sure everyone's heard that. There is no luck you make your own. Well, how do you make your own? You make your own luck by participating in your life, by paying attention on purpose, by having that beginner's mind, by not walking through life with those blinders on, with a single focus, only looking for one particular thing, and unable to enjoy the beauty and splendor that's life, the exquisite joy of being. Perhaps you may not see that bird. However, if you're only focused on that bird, then that's what your life's going to be like. Put yourself in a position to succeed. And I'm challenging everyone out there, put yourself in a position to succeed. You may not, you may not succeed in that particular endeavor. You may not perceive, 
You may not succeed in that particular avenue of your life. However, open up your vistas and see what else is around you. When you're people who have bad luck have certainties in life. Mm -hmm. They have certainties in their life. So what we help people do is turn certainties into possibilities. If you don't see any birds, then what else can you see? What else can you see? Look at the possibilities. Place yourself in a position to succeed. Put yourself among like-minded people. If you want to learn how to play golf, you're not going to join a bowling league. Okay? I and this, tried. <laughs> and this is what my, most people in life try to do. They try to insert themselves in positions where they're not going to succeed. My suggestion is, is find like-minded people. People who are like you. Have you ever been around people who you would call Debbie Downers? I uh have. -huh. People who are whine and complain all the time? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Miss Leprechaun, when you're with people who whine and complain all the time, what do you feel like doing? Well. I feel like whining and complaining. Absolutely. If you're invited to a whining and complaining party, what are you expected to bring there? Whining and complaining. Whining and complaining, absolutely. So when, you, when, you're invented, when you're invited to a party with optimistic people, mm -hmm. with people who perhaps have a vision, what are you expected to bring? Positive attitude. And optimism and a vision, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And is it your choice on who to associate yourself with? Mm -hmm. Is it your choice on what type of environment to insert yourself in? Absolutely. It's your choice. Is your choice with have luck? There is no luck. And I challenge you, if you have bad luck, write into this, write into us. Call us. Send us a comment. Send us an email. Tell me about your bad luck. Come to Seclair and perhaps we can help you change your perspective or perhaps we can help you change your mind. Any comments, uh, Miss Leprechaun? Well, I got to run. I have to take my pot of gold and I got to go to the next rainbow. Good. Spread joy and happiness wherever you go. Thanks, Lucky. Bye. Mr. Brandon, what would you be taking away from today? What would, your, what would your suggestions be to the viewers of this podcast? I would say try not to be so focused on, on achieving one thing and really open your eyes to the opportunities that are around you. When we stay focused, we can't see, like, like Jim said, um, with the blinders on through life, you're not going to see the other wonderful opportunities that are around you. And maybe you do have a few things that, that didn't go quite your way, but that doesn't mean you have bad luck. It could just be opening doors for some, something great. My challenge is for you to be right here and be right now. And what we're going to do, we're going to start you off on your road to luck. We're going to start you off with a free prescription for hope. And also fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait. And as always, your challenge is be good to yourself, be good to another. Namaste. Mm -hmm.